It's locked. Hmm. Smell a suspect. You know, sus. A little sussy. Anyways, I think it's time for some serious confrontation. Get ready for some more Nancy Drew here on Travis J's Space. On you. <laughs> Enjoy! What are you doing out here? <laughs> Howdy folks! Welcome to Travis J Space here on YouTube. And welcome back to another episode of Nancy Drew, Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, so exciting. So, from the last episode, let's recap, shall we? Because that first episode was pretty intense. And I mean just whoa too much <laughs> so we were introduced to the ghost dogs and uh, in inevitably of course um sarah mcdonald miss sarah she told us about uh about the hauntings and she wasn't she didn't really make it very clear to us she's supposed to meet us here nancy and her are supposed to be here together <laughs> and sally decided to leave because of these ghost dogs ghost i don't know if they're ghosts or not <laughs> uh, but it was very interesting very 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 scary and yeah i'm not sure how to feel about it but we've we've done a pretty good amount of uh exploring so far we we've been helping sally with oh sally not sarah sally mcdonald <laughs> we've been helping sally with some projects as you can see the floorboards are done and then i think we got a few more things to do but anyways yeah so this is exciting. I don't think we really have any idea with sus uh, suspects yet. We're not really there yet, are we? We've met Red Knot, the bird observer, you know, up on his tower, his observation point. But that's about it. We haven't really met anyone else. We've heard of other people. Uh, Ranger Acres, uh, this girl named Emily at M's Emporium, if we could ever get the boat fixed. I, we have to find a spark plug, actually. And I'm, I'm almost certain we might have to ask Red Knot for that. So, we'll see. But, for now, you guys got your notepad ready? You got your notes, your clue notes? I'm going to start the timer. Oh. Yeah. It's on. And if you forgot, Nancy Drew Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake is the first Nancy Drew series here on Travis J's Space to have full hour-long episodes. Woo! Standard. Default. <laughs> they may or may not be more <laughs> depending on how long it takes me to say goodbye like i usually uh <laughs> usually prolong i hate saying goodbyes i hate goodbyes <laughs> never goodbye ever i feel like i'm shaking this whole desk <gasps> <gasps> all right uh yes yeah, so let's jump into it now before we begin i know too i didn't shave my head i'm not bald i'm just having a really bad hair day so <laughs> so i've tucked it all up into my have a nice day hat <laughs> yeah so here we go you ready are you ready clue crew are you ready are you ready to go exploring might get into some trouble hey eh? how about that it's all about a good bit of trouble isn't it <laughs> that's you drew all right <laughs> you got your tea water something i got my tea right her right her Oh, it's nice and warm today. Oh, I don't want to get it on my shirt. Anyways, you got your blanket too. Good, good. Blanket twins. Yes, yes. And you're comfortable. Yeah? Okay. Good. Yeah. Well, yeah, actually, I'll put your feet up. Yeah, good idea. There you go. There you go. Oh, it's a little hotter than I <coughs> expected. Oh, woo. Wow, nothing like a hot splash of green tea right in your, right in your mouth. Okay, let's begin. <laughs> let's start, folks. You ready, Clue Crew? Let's do this. So, what was the last thing? I know we just we just came from the forest, didn't we? And we found the rest of the wood, and we fixed the floorboards. So, what else needs to be fixed? Ah, the pump. 
the pump, right? Get well water tested. Oh, we can't do that until we see you at Ranger Acres, I'm pretty sure. Ow! What's this? Oh, get dead tree cut down. Well, we can't do that. If we did, we could get the heck out of here. <laughs> uh, what else needed to be done around here? Oh, there's that music. I was waiting for that music to pop up. Check out squeaking. Mice? Huh. We have mice. Whoa. Where are the mice? I haven't heard any squeaking yet. I guess we were so distracted with the dogs that we didn't really hear any other sounds. There's no mice out here. Oh, you know what? I bet you the mice... Or I bet you the... Uh, whatever. <laughs> I don't know what I was going to say. I Actually, sorry, I do remember what I was going to say. I bet you the mice are in the basement. We can get there yet. And what do I need for this? Hmm. Oh. Hmm. I'm pretty sure I need... Oh, there we go. Did that work? I was... I thought I had to use, uh... Oil or something. Did it work? Hey! Yay! Woohoo! We fixed the well! <laughs> okay. Cool. Let's get some water then. And then we can get that water tested, right? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want to make Nancy carry around a pail of water all day. <laughs> Ooh. I don't need water right now. I figured. I figured. I figured. I don't know where she poured that, but... I guess it doesn't really matter now, does it? <laughs> Alright, so the boat is another issue. Um, spark plug. I'm thinking, oh, what's this? Oh, our personal, right, right, right. Our personal data assistant. I love this thing. This thing is so cool. Uh, case notes. Now, oh, I guess, ask Red Knot for a spark plug. Ah, okay. All right. Well then, let's go to bed. And hope that when we explore at nighttime, we don't run into any dogs. I usually wouldn't mind running into dogs on an adventure, but not these dogs. I don't want to run into these dogs. <laughs> I don't want to run into any other dog. I'd pet them all day long, but not these dogs. These dogs are hella spooky. <laughs> oh, it is definitely nighttime. Oh, the crickets. Oh, I really wish I was actually in this cabin right now. I feel like I am, so I can't really say that. I am in this cabin, and now I'm outside of this cabin. <laughs> But I just, I know in every single series, I, Nancy series we do, I always keep ranting and raving about how these games really deliver an immersive experience that makes you feel like you're actually in the game and you're not even in your real life anymore. <sighs> so instead of going through all that again, let me just repeat that and reiterate that, that these games, I'm telling you, no matter how old, no matter how new, they are always delivering that full you know, kidnapped experience. I feel like I've been sucked into the game. <laughs> and I love it. <laughs> I love it. I can't deny it. I'm so excited. Oh, hello, Red Knot. Look at him. He still hasn't even heard us yet. Red! Oh! <laughs> I think he was actually gonna jump. <laughs> well, oh. it's Miss Nancy Drew. And it's Mr. Red Knot. Please, just call me Nancy. I will if you keep your voice down. I just heard a cerulean warbler. A cerulean warbler? Oh. Really? Are they rare? Something tells me they're gonna be with you around. You didn't come up here to chit-chat, did you? <laughs> uh, no. I need a spark plug. Do you know much <laughs> about outboard motors? Sure do. Only type of motorized vehicle that's allowed on Moon Lake. Heck, if it were up to me, I'd ban them too. Have everybody get around by canoe. Oh. Nothing like the threat of physical activity to keep tourists away. I mean... You know, when I want to go on a camping trip, I actually look forward to doing those things. <laughs> doing the things that you gotta work for, you know? Heck, i go cook my breakfast out on the fire in the front yard if I, if I had to. I'd love that. 
in an outhouse. Yeah, gotta do it old fashioned style. That's, I can agree with him, but I don't think everyone should have to use a canoe. That's a little extreme, Red Knot. You're, you, you, you need your own lake. <laughs> Why don't you like tourists? I came to see birds, not people. The more people there are in a forest, the fewer birds there are. It's a fact of life. Makes sense. Reason I like to come here is because nobody else does. It's perfect. Not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. Hmm. Hmm. Does that sound sus to you? Do you guys think that sounds a little sussy? He seems innocent enough. He seems... I mean, I'm I'm kind of buying the whole, he doesn't like people, he likes birds, I stay with the birds, I love the birds, 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 birds. <laughs> but I wonder if that's a distraction from the truth. It'd be a pretty obvious distraction for the culprit to make, right? I mean, he's also mentioning here, not a decent grocery store, restaurant, or motel for miles. If you wanted to kidnap someone or torture someone or scare someone... That's a good piece of information to know. <laughs> Nobody's calling the cops on you. <laughs> but I don't know. I, I, I don't think he's... Uh, I don't think he's sus. But I don't feel so confident saying that either. Because <laughs> he could be. I don't know. Uh, spark plug. Yes. There's no place nearby that sells boat parts? Sally's outboard is missing a spark plug. I might be able to help you out. Hey. After all, I was a Boy Scout. Be prepared. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that means, but I hope you have one. You mean you have a spark plug I could buy? Well, just so happens I've got two spark plugs right here in my pocket. Yay! The question oh, is, if I give you one, what do I get for it? I don't need cash, but maybe you could take a few pictures for me. Know how to use a digital camera? Of course I do. Of course. Uh, <laughs> My friend Bess just got one for her birthday. I helped her figure out how to use it. There's a couple of birds I'm supposed to take pictures of for Pepsob. Pepsob. That's people for the preservation and study of birds. Oh. You can recognize them by their songs, which okay. are on this tape, which you can play on my cassette player, which you're going to have to get from M's Emporium as soon as you get your boat fixed. <laughs> think you can handle that what <laughs> hold on okay so you want me to take some pictures of some birds great i love it i can't wait because i love birds and i've already saw them earlier and i was very very happy and they made my day so no problems there uh recognize them by the songs great which is on your tape recorder great which you can play on my cassette well great but you're gonna have to get from m's emporium but I need a spark plug to fix the boat to get to M's Emporium. You have the spark plug. And if I need the spark plug, I gotta do this for you. But how am I gonna do this for you if I can't get to M's, which needs the boat, which is why I'm seeing you? <laughs> this doesn't make sense. <laughs> do you see where I'm going with this, guys? Um, yeah, so he's basically saying... Unless I'm reading this wrong. I could be, I could be perceiving this the wrong way. But it sounds like in order to find the birds, I need to know their sounds. And I gotta get to M's Emporium to get the tape recorder to do this for Red. So he'll give me a spark plug for the boat. But if I gotta get to M's first with the boat that needs a spark plug, then I would need the recorder and I would need a spark plug. You know what? Let's just respond to him. And <laughs> let's just say we can do it. <laughs> sounds good. Here's everything you need. Ask questions later. Okay, perfect. Oh, M's Emporium is up lake on the west side. Not that I'm trying to get you out of my hair or anything, but try not to come pestering me till you're done, okay? One more thing. You smoke? Oh. <laughs> when I'm on fire? <laughs> uh, only when I'm on fire. Oh, you're a spunky one, aren't you? Well, <laughs> these woods may not look it, but they're tinder dry. One lit match, and the best bird habitat on the East Coast will go up in smoke. So watch what you do, because if anything like that happens, I won't be looking for birds anymore. I'll be looking for you. Watch yourself out there. Okay. Duly noted, Red Knot. <laughs> Duly noted. Okay, so we've got some pictures to take. Oh, wait. oh, okay, okay, okay. The whole situation's been being debunked. You see the spark plug right here? Yeah. So, okay, I'm a little bit, um, 
I'm not thinking Red is so sus anymore because he didn't make us go and do all that stuff and then we get the spark plug, which is usually what you got to do in most Nancy situations where you have to do the work to get the reward. He actually told us to, he's trusting us to do all the work for him and he gave us the spark plug anyway. Okay. That's a very decent thing to do and a very polite and courteous thing to do. So I'm, I'm liking Red Knot. I think I'm uh, getting past the acquaintance. It's stage. not safe to take the boat out at night. Oh, I guess you're right. I guess you're right. Does this mean I gotta go to bed all over again? And where's the bird call? Oh. All right. Oops. <laughs> all right. Betty buys it is. And we're gonna go take the boat and meet M. It's time to go meet M. Oh. Good morning, world. Good morning, Moon Lake. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I'm having that moment again. <laughs> I, uh, oh, you know what? I. It's funny, Message of the Haunted Mansion was always my favorite game of the Nancy Juice series, only because it was the first one I ever played. And now I don't know, like, I'm, I'm feeling so cozy and, and comfortable. On Moon Lake. <laughs> this might be my new favorite for the sense of, uh, for the sake of uh, ambiance and, uh, uh, you know, vibes. <laughs> Alright, spark plugs in. Now, let's double check that I didn't screw this up. Positive, negative, nothing positive. Positive, negative, nothing positive. Okay, I think we're ready to go. Let's see. <gasps> Yay! We did it. We did it. We did it. Okay, so Enzaporian leaves. Ooh, look at this. Ooh. Oh, I can almost smell that water. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> look at her just not even moving. Whoa. <laughs> Time. Oh, now she's moving. Okay. She she might be an interesting character. She looks a little interesting. Hey there. Welcome to M's Emporium. Oh. I'm Emily Griffin. Oh, hi, Emily Griffin. It's lovely to meet you. <laughs> My name's Nancy Drew. I'm staying out at the old Malone place. Oh, you maybe know, I the house Sally McDonald bought. Maybe now, what's she that. doing inviting guests out to that old dump? It's none of your business. <laughs> uh, she's got a little problem. Yes, yes. Oh, let's not mention the dog. She's got a little problem she's hoping I can solve. But right now, <laughs> I need a chainsaw. A chainsaw? Yes. My car is stuck. A tree fell down in the driveway behind my car, and now I'm blocked in. I'll get Tucker Davis to take care of it. Gotta warn oh. you, though. Tucker tends to do things in his own sweet time. So how come Sally ain't with you? Well, <laughs> that's a long story, but we don't want to let anybody know the truth, right? I try to, that's my usual style, as I try to pick the narrative option that doesn't expose us. You know, the less everyone knows, the better, you know what I'm saying? And I accidentally let it out there when I said that Sally wasn't with me, or I can't remember what I said, but... I did kind of let her in a little bit there by accident. The ghost dogs, yes. Yeah. See, mm -mm. no, she don't need to know about the ghost dogs. She thinks the Malone place is haunted. Mm, nope. And what's the last one? She couldn't stand the thought of, yeah. She couldn't stand the thought of spending another night in that house. I told her, I said, Sally, that old house is going to be nothing but trouble. And sure enough, Malone's hounds have come back. Oh, she knows about Just when we all it. thought they were finally resting in peace. Okay, so all y'all know about this? Interesting. Okay, so it must be a common thing then in the area, the community on the lake, because I thought I was keeping a secret from her, but apparently not. <laughs> uh, have you ever seen that? Have you ever seen the dogs? Nope. Don't want to, neither. Just hearing them howl's bad enough. Scares the bejeebies out of me. 
<laughs> me too. They scares the bejeebies out of me too. Bejeebies. I always say bejesus. <laughs> that was funny. I've never seen it spelled out like that though before. That's hilarious. Uh, I got the bejeebies. I got the bejeebies scared out of me twice last night. Just before I saw the dogs, I caught a man named Red Knot prowling around outside the house. The bird watcher. Comes in every so often to stock <laughs> up on that weirdo food he eats. You know how them tree hugger types are. Uh, I'm not sure he's a tree hugging type. He's more of a bird hugging type. <laughs> He'd hug a bird over a human any day. <laughs> and, a, and a tree. He'd hug a bird over a tree any day. Exactly. It seemed to yeah, me that yeah. he was more into watching birds than hugging trees. Yeah, well, whatever. <laughs> One thing's for sure. He's gonna wind up with a dose of buckshot in his hind end if and he keeps tramping through people's yards making noises like he just popped out of a UFO. A <laughs> UFO? Well. Well. You know, uh, he doesn't seem all that crazy. Okay, let's talk about Mr. Knot again. What does it say? Did me a favor, and in return, asked me to pick up a... Yes! Mr. Knot did me a favor, and in return, I got he asked bird me to pick up to a do. cassette player from you. Oh, yeah. I got it right here. Thought maybe Thanks. the old coon had forgotten he left it here. Thank you very much. I will take that. Oh. What else there. can I do you for? <laughs> I was waiting for that, that to... Uh, oh, yay, there it is. We got so much technology now. Oh, you know, I'm sorry. Quick side note. I really miss the days when technology was separated like now on your cell phone right you can get an app for anything voice recorder camera uh you know music this and that blah, blah, blah. i love how in this time period in 2001 the, the 2000s the early 2000s it was such a prime time for technology separated technology so you had a device for your photos you had a device for recording you had a device for um listening to music you know you had a device to organize your notes your little pda like oh i miss that i don't like the simplicity i don't like how they've narrowed it down to one device that does everything and it's just so boring click 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 there no there's not any buttons nothing satisfying about it at all anymore you don't have to work for anything i want the machines <laughs> i want to go back so bad <laughs> oh i have just seen that tape recorder just and the tape because oh Okay, side note over. Sorry. <laughs> Back to it. Sorry, Miss Emily. Uh... These so-called ghost dogs left very real paw prints. I saw some that's near right. the cemetery that's by the Malone house. Have you ever been there? <laughs> Can't say as I have. Poking around cemeteries ain't exactly a hobby with me. Well, I don't blame you. Most people don't. <laughs> Poke around cemeteries. Does the name Waldo Matthias mean anything to you? Hmm. Can't say as it does. And Waldo M Matthias, that was the name that was on the one tombstone. And Waldo, remember, the word Waldo, or the name Waldo, had little squares around each letter. Where do odd. you find your... Uh, uh, oh, well, bless you! It's all the dust. <laughs> Sometimes I think it grows on this stuff. Oh. Do you want me to get you a Swiffer? <laughs> <laughs> Some of those old bottles are beautiful. Where'd you get them? Found them. See, back in the days of Prohibition, that old Malone place used to be Party Central. Oh. Only way to get to and from back then was by boat. And when those boats dumped, on account of bad weather or bad driving or the feds suddenly showing up, well, everything <laughs> from diamond necklaces to full bottles of illegal booze sank to the bottom of the lake. Wow. Well, that's interesting. Huh. I'd like to get my scuba gear on and go take a look under there. <laughs> Damn, if I knew that information, I would be, I would have brought my scuba gear. So, it's finders keepers, huh? That's right. Hmm. See, recovering okay. objects from the lake bed is illegal. Oh. According to Squeaky Wheel Acres, dragging the lake for artifacts was upsetting its delicate eco-balance. <laughs> so, thanks mostly to his constant squawking, the state banned it. Oh, well, that's kind of... Okay, but... I mean, do you really have to use a, a a lake rake? You know? I feel like that would... If you did collect something underneath with a lake rake, and it's and it's from the 1920s, so it's over... Well, okay, it's 2001. So it's over 70, 80 years old. You might damage it, wouldn't you? Like, I, I don't know how you'd get a whole bottle with a rake and pull it out and not have it damaged. 
I would rather go down and just kind of search each section of the lake, you know what I'm saying? Unless it's buried in the dirt, I can understand that, but... Huh, too much small town lake community drama. Oh, the chaos. We thought we had a mystery on our hands. There seems to be a lot of discrepancies between these folks. Squeaky wheel <laughs> acres? Yeah. Jeff Acres, local park ranger. I keep telling him <laughs> all this stuff washed up on shore. But does that snobby little stickler for rules believe me? <laughs> yeah, it sounds like you're not really fond of him. Sounds like you aren't real fond of Ranger Acres. <laughs> Jeff Acres could take all his precious rules and regulations and take a flying leap. Now, I got nothing against getting more customers in here, mind you. But I kind of like Moon Lake the way it is. Small, quiet, out of the way. But Jeff Acres, why, there's nothing he'd like better than to see all the lake and all the property around it turn into one big, noisy, jam-packed state park. You sound, <laughs> you sound certain about that. <laughs> why would he want that? Yeah. He's the type of guy who likes to boss people around makes him feel important so if the park got way bigger and was crawling with tourists why instead of giving out maybe one ticket for littering every two days he'd be giving out one dozen tickets every two hours <laughs> he'd be in heaven well hey i'm sure you got better mm. things to do than getting your ear chewed off by yours truly honestly yeah <laughs> <laughs> sorry um, I, 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 I think she's being a little over-exaggerate. I'm starting to think, I don't think this guy gets his kicks from Cannon Oat I mean, we haven't met him yet, so we can't say anything. We don't know anything. We don't know this guy. But she seems like she doesn't really know him either. She seems like she's just upset because her antique searching has been given the red flag. Someone just doesn't like hearing no, I think. And... Yeah, I was going to say something else about her, but I can't remember now. It'll come back if it's important. I need to buy something. You want it? I got it. As long as you pay cash, that is. Oh. Well, <laughs> we don't got any cash. We got no money at all. Right now, cash is kind of a problem for me. Do you think we could work some kind of trade out? That's it. I'm running kind of low. So a, lo a line of credit in this small shack? In the middle of nowhere, I don't know. That's if just it. I'm running kind of low on cash. willing to start a line of credit. Would it but... be possible to start a line of credit? My daddy always said, neither a borrower nor a lender be. But I'll tell you what. Seeing as how you're a friend of Sally's, and seeing as how I got some things around here that could use doing, I guess we could work something out. What is it you need? Just some sandpaper. Do you sell sandpaper by any chance? I do. But Mr. Birdbrain was in last week and cleaned me out. Of course. Said he was tired of that observation platform of his giving him splinters in his hinter regions. <laughs> I'm loving this chick. She's so funny. She's like, uh, she's a country bumpkin like me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe I should just go ask him. I feel like she might ask me to do something for her, and I don't feel like... Think I could get some from him? He's Good your ones. only hope. But you better ask him for it quick. That deck of his is pretty big, and those squares I sold him are pretty small. <laughs> All right, well... Guess I'll see you later. Wish us luck. I guess you will. <laughs> She's an interesting one, isn't she? I'm not sure exactly... Oh, by a piece of the past... 80 years ago, Moon Lake was crawling with gangsters, flappers, and jazz musicians from the big city. They traveled to and from parties by boat and were so rich that if they accidentally dropped something in the lake, why, they wouldn't even bother going after it. Each item you see here was fished, by legal means, at a Moon Lake and most likely belonged to some wealthy big shot from back in the day. Don't go home without buying at least one genuine artifact from the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> well, she certainly she certainly put a lot of work into this. Look at this. We got different fonts. We got different sizing. She even made sure that she don't get in trouble. The colors. I mean, A for effort. A for effort. I really like it. It's nice in here. It's cozy. It's, it's, uh, oh. One thing I was going to say, I noticed while Em was talking, did y'all notice in the background behind her, she's got a video rental here. If you look at the DVDs, now, or sorry, the, 
the v the vhs's <laughs> uh you'll notice we haven't played this one yet uh nancy drew um the final scene where it takes place in a in an old theater but the one of the characters from that game which we'll go to the dvds or sorry the vhs's his uh play that he does or is advertised in the game in uh the final scene is actually up here on the shelf <laughs> they reused his movie title uh or his uh play cover and put it on a vhs up there and not only that but behind this postcard thing you see it when you talk to M. There's another cover that's called Neo, and that was a movie poster in that game, too. So cool. I just love, I love, I love, I love the uh, Easter egg. The reusing of all the Easter eggs. I just love it. I absolutely love it. Even this here, the Coco Kringles, you're going to see a lot more of those, guys. Have you ever played Nancy Drew before? Let me tell you right now. You are going to see all kinds of Coco Kringle. You'll never, you'll never think about Hershey again. What's in here? Ew. Ew. <laughs> Nancy doesn't like worms. That was hilarious. Ew! <laughs> she said that. Okay. Alright, what's over here? Nothing? Not really much to see around here. M. Benson Aviation. Millie. I think this girl's from, uh, oh my god, another Easter egg. I'm pretty sure Millie Benson is a character from... Stay tuned for danger. She's the old lady that works in the basement in the prop room. I think her name's Millie, but I don't think her last name's Benson. Because one of the characters is Maddie Jensen. So I wonder if they're making a spin on it. They're blending the two, Millie Benson. If anyone knows the Easter egg behind this, if there is one, if it does have relation to Stay Tuned for Danger, please let me know in the comments below. <laughs> it's gonna bother me, but I do need to let it go because we've only got so much time. And we gotta carry on here. All right, well, we're done here, basically. And uh, well, I guess it, I guess we should go introduce ourselves to. Oh, uh, look at that. Oh. Isn't it just gorgeous? Okay. Oh, this is a cool little ranger station. Look at this. Ooh, it's like an octagon. Ooh, it is an octagon. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, look at all this. Hantavirus. Oh, okay. How to avoid. Never sweep an area inhabited by mice. Oh, wear a respiratory mask and rubber gloves. Okay, because we're going to deal with... I'm pretty sure we'll need that information because we're going to be dealing with rats in the house shortly. Eventually. Oh, yes, no fire, no smoking, none of that, none of that. What's this? Giardiasis? Oh, pronounce it. Oh, Giardiasis. 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 Beaver fever. <laughs> I had beaver fever when I was uh, 15. Oh, wait. Oh, beaver fever? Oh. Well, I never had that. <laughs> if it isn't obvious. Okay. Well, I guess uh, I don't think this is very important. I think he's. I think this guy just really loves his job, and it's probably good for some other people that are. I'm gonna be doing some more investigation, or sorry, doing some more adventuring. We're here to investigate. We're not here to smell the roses, unfortunately. But we can stop and smell the birds. Er, smell the birds. <laughs> Observe the birds. <laughs> now, yeah, you wanna watch out for Lyme disease. That probably wouldn't be very good. And poison ivy, of course. Yes, yes. <sighs> oh, that looks like it itches or burns. Thanks. Okay. Well, oh! Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Ranger Acres. Ooh, he's cute. <laughs> Very cute. Oh, you know what? I've heard of this before. I've seen this before. I learned this growing up. How each ring of a tree stump shows how old a tree is. 
Wow, isn't that incredible? I'm not gonna read all this, but I just think it's incredible. That's one thing I've always loved and thought was so fascinating is uh, indicating how old a tree is by its rings. That's just so cool to me. It's nothing to do with the mystery, but... Oh, oh, look at this. I got some animer, animos, animos. Oh, buttercup. Oh, I thought this bird's name was Buttercup for a second. I was like, wait a minute. I don't think they call those birds Buttercups. <laughs> Something's not right. Well, that's cool. I I really want to visit this place. <laughs> Is there a place similar in real life? Ooh, civilian conservation corpse. In 1932, the United States released the throes of the Great Depression. I was going to say, looks from Franklin D. Roosevelt. Well interesting uh, uh oh, okay it seems like this is um all information on oh look at this is some of the stuff that they've pulled out of the lake i guess some of the artifacts that they've managed to discover Ooh, very interesting did you guys notice there's a, a set of wedding bands sitting there too Gosh, I guess the limit of the limit to things you can find here is uh, limitless. Logging company. Oh, cool. Oh, okay, so that must have been what Franklin Roosevelt started here. I got school students. Oh, wow. Logging company. Oh, Ventus Linguist Founder. That's a weird name, isn't it? <laughs> Town of Liberty. Okay, cool. Oh, <laughs> park ranger Francis Bacon Grits. <laughs> really? Really? <laughs> Francis Bacon Grits. <laughs> oh, his wife Zelda Strawberry. <laughs> Aww. They look like their names. They, they really do look like a, a Francis Bacon Grits and a Zelda Strawberry. <laughs> Aww, that's cute. <laughs> 1913. This is cool. Okay, I'm getting distracted by all the history here in this place. Oh, and we got even more history. <laughs> more things to look at here. History of the lake. Early settlers. Famous residents. Oh, the ghost dogs. There's one of them. Many celebrities from the East Coast spent their time, including Florence Ziegfeld, famous producer. Oh, 1926. The Folly King ran into the rocks. Oh, Ben Franklin. Wow, this is a popular place. Oh, infamous. Uh, here we go. The height of the prohibition, Mickey Malone, a gangster from Philadelphia who got rich smuggling and distributing illegal liquor, built a house on the North Shore at the site of the old Ritzaki farm. See early settlers. People came from up and down the East Coast to attend the parties he threw at Moon Lake. He was convicted of tax evasion in 1933 and sent to prison, where he eventually died. Well. That's the tea, sis. Uh, oh, what's in here? I probably shouldn't mess around with this without Ranger Acre's permission. Yeah, we'll, we can leave that for now. All right, well, let's go introduce ourselves. We haven't even said hello yet, because there's just so much here. Look at all this information. Fishing, boating, hiking. Oh, wow. Private property. Yeah, that's where we are. Nobody come visit. <laughs> hello. Right. Can I help you? Hi. <laughs> yes, you can. Hi, my name's Nancy Drew. I'm visiting Sally McDonald. Are you the park ranger? Park ranger Jeff Akers, at your service. Let's see. Let's Sally McDonald is the woman who bought the old Malone place. That's right. That's right. Only she's gone back to Philadelphia. Malone's dogs got to her. Don't tell me she believes all that Oops. ghost dog stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, so I guess I'm not hiding anything from anyone when I disclose the, the ghost dog stuff, because it, it seems like everybody knows about it, so. <laughs> They're probably the ones that warned 
Sally when she first bought the place to watch out for the dogs. Does that mean you don't? There's always a logical explanation for everything. Whatever's out there, I'm sure they're no more and no less than exactly what they look and sound like. Dogs. Living, breathing, very noisy dogs. Well, I mean, you have a point. I think he's got a point. I, I thought about, I thought this from the get-go. There has to be some kind of practical reasoning for this or understanding. Because as far as I'm concerned, I don't think... We come to know that in Answer Drew Games, or you come to know anyways after playing them for a while, that most things that are paranormal aren't quite paranormal. Sometimes they are, though. So it's very hard to differentiate whether you're dealing with something that is in fact paranormal or something that is being manipulated to be perceived as paranormal when it's actually human. So, <laughs> he's got a point. Doesn't make him sus, because I'm thinking the same thing, and I know I'm not sus. Those dogs ain't mine. <laughs> Why do you think dogs would attack Sally's house? Dogs can be trained to do almost anything. Shoot, I keep asking the wrong question. Oh no, the question's still there. Okay, good. Any idea what would make a dog's eyes glow yellow? Something in their diet, maybe? Some oddball vitamin or protein. Hmm. Mm, could make sense. As a park ranger, don't you want to know for sure what's behind these dog attacks? Do you always huh. ask this many questions? Why did you replace an answer with a question? Why did you question me? A question with a question? That's kind of sus. And that was an important question I was asking why I didn't get to the bottom of it. Because if Sally's ran from home and she doesn't feel safe being at home, and the park ranger is so keen on keeping this place safe and on the top of its top, why wouldn't you want to investigate that and make sure things were better so that Sally could come home and feel safe? That doesn't seem very genuine. As a matter of fact, I do. I'm a very busy man, Miss <laughs> Drew, but... lots of questions. <laughs> I am here to serve the public. Thank you. Oh, yes, I need to test the well water. Do you mind? Do you have something I could use to test the well water at Sally's? Sure do. Simple to use, too. Just pump some water into this vial, okay. return the sample to me, I'll send it off, and in a day or two, you'll find out whether or not your water's fit to drink. Okay. Sounds good. Does everyone out here have a well? <laughs> everyone who doesn't want to die of thirst does. Huh? Hooking up to a municipal water supply is out of the question. Too expensive. Oh, I see. Huh. It probably just caused a little too much ruckus, too. Well, that's not too bad, then. Okay, what else do we need to ask here? This place isn't exactly your ordinary ranger station, is it? It's also the Moon Lake Post Office oh. and... It's the unofficial Moon Lake Museum of Factual and Natural History. Oh, I've lived here all my okay. life, so I can't Aww. help but feel obligated to protect not only the area's flora and fauna, but also its past. Wow. Hmm. Okay. I'm starting to I'm starting to have some respect for him. I was getting a little sus in the beginning, but now that he's exposed his uh, connections here. In his past, I think there's a little bit of a soft spot there. Unless I'm falling for it. Maybe that's a manipulation tactic. Who knows? But I think that's a very noble and genuine reason to for being so overprotective, you know, and wanting to see the place at its best. Because this is like, this is basically his childhood uh, reconverging into his adulthood you know so okay i could i could see why his demeanor might be a little bit strict or you know the stuff that m is kind of annoyed with <laughs> but i'm i'm not seeing what m's talking about i mean he just seems passionate about his job until he gives us a hard time i think i might be calling that too soon <laughs> this is our first time meeting him too so you know all about mickey malone as a member of the law enforcement community I prefer to dwell on the positive aspects of history instead of on the activities of a bunch of glorified thugs. Well, you're no fun. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. There's just a lot of questions. So you'd probably like to see the old Malone place torn down and forgotten. Not necessarily. It's hard to ignore its potential as a tourist attraction. And if that's what it takes to draw more people to Moon Lake, hmm. I'm a reasonable man. 
Whatever. Oh my goodness. So, I think he's just very politely trying to say that, you know, okay, Sally lives there. I'd rather not see her <laughs> live there. That he would basically turn into a tourist attraction. Whether he would tear down the house and redo, which he probably would. But, okay, so that's a little sus. Just a little. Hmm, because it seems like he's thought about it deeply, about that place being a tourist attraction. Because he's very adamant on saying that it's basically hard to ignore its potential. So you must have examined its potential quite a lot. Ooh, we're back to sus with him, because if Sally's been chased out of her house by something, and when I ask you whether you want to investigate that something so that Sally can come home and feel safe, and you ignore my question with another question and don't answer it even afterwards... Sus, sussy pants. Okay. As an officer of the law, can you think of anyone who might want to scare Sally off her property? The woman who owns the shop across the lake? Emily Griffin? I can't prove it, but I'm pretty sure she's been dragging the lake in front of Malone's house for artifacts, oh. which is illegal. Right. It would be a lot easier for her to do her dirty work if nobody was living there. Oh. Okay. Huh. I didn't think about that that uh that perception at all. Huh, that makes a lot of sense. Cause yeah, if she's if she's raking the lake and it's illegal, that really does make a lot of sense. Huh. Everyone's becoming sus now. Don't think I've eliminated you. Your story, I mean even the fact that you went and threw Emily out on the spot like that. That's a little sus too, but he does make another good valid point is that she does seem a little fishy. I mean, her, her behavior was a little fishy. In fact, she's so against this kind gentleman. I don't see what is to be hated or disliked about him. He's a very nice man. <laughs> uh, but he makes a good point is that she's very, very fond of the artifacts of the antiques. So if she needs... To be alone during that and it doesn't want to get caught because it's illegal why not have nobody on the house so she could get away with it makes sense duly noted what I'll do you know back about back the cemetery behind the malone house people are buried there beyond that what's to know <laughs> yeah oh my goodness oh my goodness is buried there <laughs> is malone buried there <laughs> no the oh my goodness is <laughs> or maybe he is <laughs> The inscription on one of the tombstones reads Waldo Matthias. Does that name ring any bells? Not in my steeple. Hmm. Okay. Would you mind mailing this letter for me? Not at all. Thank you. Would it be okay if I looked around? Please do. And if you have any questions, any more questions, <laughs> just ask. All right. Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. Oh, and one oh. last thing. The deer mouse population has boomed this year, so please take precautions if you're cleaning out any area where they may have nested. They can carry some nasty diseases. Thanks for the tip, Ranger Acres. Aw. What a good man. Sorry. Just checking my digital here. Well, I'll tell you right now. I'm a big fan of Ranger Acres. I feel like every time I speak there's two things. Every time I speak to someone, if there's a lot of questions, I get so... I just need to move, you know? I want to get my answers. I want to have my moment to contemplate. But then I want to get going, you know? I just want to get moving. I want to get things done. So it's hard to keep a conversation with some of these people, whether they are really sweet or they are a little rude or sus or whatever the case. I just, I'm so anxious all the time to carry on, you know, especially now that we've got so much stuff. We can get so much done now, guys. I'm really, sh I'm really excited. Look like there is something up there, unless that's a light. Yeah, it looks like a patio light. Okay, so let's check this water, huh? I need a bucket. Oh. There we go. Pump, pump, pump. Okay. And we got some water. Beautiful. We're going to do this. Beautiful. And we've got some water to test. 
I don't need water right now. Go ahead and dump that. All right. Great. So we've got some water. We've got some water. What else do we need? Uh, ah, aha. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oops. Huh? Oh, here we go. Okay. So these are the bird calls. So I'm not sure if we need to play these. American Goldfinch. Northern Cardinal. Oh. So beautiful, isn't it? Red tailed yeah. hawk. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a fierce Western bird. tanager. <laughs> Those are cool little birds. Okay. Thanks, Red Knot. I don't know if we'll need it, though, because uh, if we just see a bird, I mean, if I just see a bird, I'm taking a picture of it. <laughs> I am not going to go and, you know, try to investigate what kind of bird it is. Maybe after, but... Oh, and remember on the map when we passed the birds, it told us uh, what birds we ran into. So... Maybe I should just go to the bird spots. Okay, so left, right, right, left, left. Left, right, right, left, left, right. Okay, so now I'm at the tree, the fallen tree. So there should be a bluebird. Oh, a blue jay. <gasps> hey, baby. <laughs> pretty bird, pretty bird. Okay, now let's go back because we want to get to this red bird too. So, oh, fall in love. Okay, I think. Oh, yeah, we're getting close to that cardinal. You hear it? Right here. Oh, it's so pretty. Darn, it flew away. Oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, well. What if I play a song, like, play a... American Goldfinch. Maybe it'll come back American if I play Robin. the song. <gasps> oh, it's such a Blue beautiful Jay. song. Oh, Blue Jay. Now these are Northern all the Cardinal. Oh. I think that's the sound we needed. Red tailed hawk. Oh. Oh. We didn't have. Western Tanager. How many birds does he want? It looks like we needed pictures of eight, or sorry, six different birds, but. I'm a little confused. What if I play it here? American Goldfinch. American okay. Robin. I think I have to wait till it says the other, the American Cardinal. Blue Jay. Or after Blue Jay. There's a Cardinal? Another Cardinal? Northern Cardinal. Northern Cardinal. I think that's the bird we're trying to take a picture of. Okay. So now that that's playing, will the bird come back? Red-tailed hawk. <gasps> I hear the hawk. Or wait, was that playing as I walked around? Hawk. Oh, it does. Okay. So why don't I just play this? American goldfinch. There we go. And we'll go for a walk. Oh, here we go. Wait, cardinal. I don't get it. Oh, okay, so never mind, never mind. <laughs> never mind. We can't play it and walk around, unfortunately. I thought we could. Alright, fallen tree. So, I don't know which way we should go. I'm thinking, let's try this way. Oh, <laughs> Nancy's going, tweet tweet. <laughs> Aww. 
I was like, because all the bird noises are in pink, right? So when I saw that, I thought, I just heard a tweet tweet. Who is making a tweet tweet around here? Tweet tweet! <laughs> <laughs> She's so cute. Just as I was saying, <laughs> I thought someone made a tweet, 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 tweet. <laughs> Perfect timing, Nancy. Perfect timing. Your timing is impeccable. <gasps> Get the camera ready. Oh. <gasps> oh. Oh. He's so cute! <laughs> Woohoo! Okay, that's two birds down. Two birds, no stone. <laughs> two birds, no stone. Okay, where am I again? I think I'm in this corner. Okay. Oh, Tanager. You know where the Tanager is? It's probably right in that corner. Get my camera ready. <gasps> Oh! Darn, it flew oh. away. Ah, oh, gosh darn. This is to the cemetery, right? Yeah. There's no birds in the cemetery, I don't think. And there's nothing over there. Okay, so... So why don't we go... I guess we gotta go all the way back. Unless... Yeah, I had a feeling Mr. Yellow Tanager would come back. All right, you ready? Uh, missed it. Damn it. How am I going to get that bird? What if I play the call at the same time? American Goldfinch. <gasps> Wait, it's a Tanager song. Uh, okay. You know what? We'll just come back. Not a big deal. Uh, yeah. So, the yellow ribbon, we need to get out of the yellow ribbon. And when we get to the log... Oh, we've already gone left. Okay. So we'll go... Past the fallen tree this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see here. Okay, so then that's to go back to the cabin, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, right here. Okay, so instead we're gonna go this way. I don't think we've been this way yet. Have we been on this side of the forest? I don't think so. I don't think so. These are a bunch of dead ends. <gasps> the heck? <laughs> a shoe? <laughs> Who the heck shoe is this? Looks like it's been there a while too. Who just leaves a shoe there? <laughs> Who leaves a shoe in the forest like that? Just sitting there like that. I could never. I feel like that would just annoy me so much. <laughs> Alright, we're coming around this corner here. And it looks up looks like we're going to come across something called a stone pillar. Hold on a minute. <laughs> Am I going the right way? Oh, I see log. Okay, I thought I was at this log. I'm like, how in the heck? I know we're going the right way. Oh, okay. Stone pillar. Well, doesn't seem like there's anything special about it. Quite literally just a stone pillar. <laughs> cool. Now, wait a minute. Okay, that's the log, and we're going up. Ah, so this is a dead end. Okay. Nothing to see there. And this is a dead end. Oh! Goldfinch. Oh! Yay! Woohoo! Beautiful, beautiful. We got another bird. Okay, another bird on the list. Uh... Yellow bird. We got that bird. So I gotta go back and get the cardinal and the yellow bird over there. Okay, okay. Sounds good to me. I think I can just scroll stroll around now. I think I know where I'm going. Ah! 
Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, look at that. Okay, I'm getting I'm getting used to this. I think I need to start getting used to getting around the forest without a map. There we go. I'm gonna wait five seconds. And gotcha! Missed it. Oh. <sighs> no. oh well. You know what? What if I play the song? American Goldfinch. American Robin. Oh. American Robin. Oh, it's a card. No. American right. Robin. <laughs> Blue Jay. Blue Jay. <laughs> American Northern Cardinal. Cardinal. There we go. Red tailed hawk. Did that work? No. Gosh darn it. I keep saying Cardinal song. No, nothing. Okay. Well. Well. Oh, what's this? Oh, right. I've gone the wrong way. The heck is that? <laughs> the heck is that? Oh, I guess I did have to go that way. To get to the cemetery. Sorry. Uh, I should have said that. I'm trying to get to the cemetery right now. And maybe I can get that tanager while I'm at it. Maybe. Let's see. Maybe if I play this at the same time. American Goldfinch. And the Tanager. American Robin. Okay. Once he gets to Tanager, I'm gonna quickly take that photo and hope I get it. Blue Jay. Blue Jay. Northern, Northern Cardinal. Card Is the next one Tanager? I can't remember. But, oh, excuse me, Peg. Red-tailed hawk. Red-tailed hawk. I don't want to come across one of those by the sounds of it. <laughs> Western Tanager. Ah. Okay. Is it going to play again? Okay, I think it heard it. Uh, missed it. <gasps> what the heck? <laughs> How do I get these birds to stay still? Okay, BRB, I'm going to pee. <laughs> real quickly. forgotten what we're doing here now here's the thing okay here's where I'm just a little confused is uh, is that if we know where the uh, where two birds are and we need six photos and we have three I believe three photos and there's two more birds we know of then how the heck 
Is there one more bird that we haven't seen yet? That doesn't make sense. Now I'm starting to wonder though, how am I going to get these birds? These other two birds? Um, I think I'm stuck. <laughs> oh yes, I am real stuck. There we go. Okay, let's go to this again. Yellow ribbon, and then maybe if we go back... Okay, here we go. I don't understand though, folks. What do I need to, to do to get this bird? Do I need to play the song? Oh! I wonder if... American Goldfinch. Ah, oh, I gotta play all the American way American Robin. I'm wondering if when it says Tanager... Another time. Eh, not nice. Blue um, Jay. When it gets to Tanager, I gotta have my camera ready, back out, let the song play Cardinal. while I take the photo, and maybe that'll make the birds stay. I hope. Come on, bird. Come on, birdie, bird. Red-tailed hawk. It's after this one, I think. Red-tailed hawk, and then northern tanager. Er, Western tanager. Western tanager. <gasps> okay, we go. Uh, oh, no! Darn it! How in the heck and heck? <laughs> All right. Well, we got a few, anyways, which is pretty good. Three different, uh, three different birds. Sorry, I I have a strange feeling it's gonna get dark. Oh, look at that! I made it out of the forest. No map. Look, ma, no map. <laughs> no hands. All right. Well, I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure there's something else we got. Oh, never mind. Uh, okay, well then, what I'm thinking is, then maybe what we'll do is drop off the... Uh, actually, no, wait, Red Knot. Oh, he's not out right now. It's daytime, isn't it? Aww, maybe he left some toilet paper? Or toilet paper? <laughs> Sandpaper? No, he didn't. Okay. Well... That's unfortunate. Um, so then what we'll do is we'll take our water sample over to Ranger Acres. And yeah, we'll call it a day. We have reached our hour limits, which is obviously going to be longer than an hour. Because we're just such busy people. We're just such busy investigators. There's so much to do. So little time. Hi. You're back. Yeah, and I have a water sample. I have that water sample. What do I do with it? Just give it to me, and I'll take care of it. Cool, thank you. Thanks for all your help. Not a problem. He's a cool guy. I would love to just live here. <laughs> I would live on this lake. I live in Mickey Malone's cabin. Oh, look at that. Are you kidding me? This looks like Canada. It's making me very, very, very happy. <laughs> Actually, there is one mystery we'll eventually get to. Uh, Nancy Drew, Danger on Deception Island. I do believe, if I'm correct, correct me if I'm mistaken, if anyone's, wa uh, or <laughs> anybody's watching, correct me if I'm mistaken, but I'm almost certain that Danger on Deception Island took place in Canada, didn't it? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Well, we'll find it eventually. But we're back in our safe spot. This is our new... <laughs> well, we're start and end the episodes in our comfy little comfy little living room on the couch. I think that's a good place. Safe, safe spot. Not so scary spot to chill. <laughs> well, all right, guys. That brings us to the end of our episode today. Um, so far, we've been doing really well. We've got pictures of three different birds so far. We need three more pictures, and I'm, I need to figure out how to do it. It's going to be so hard. But I think if I just, like, come up with some ideas, do a little bit of brainstorming, I think we'll have... Uh, and, yeah, if you guys have any ideas, too, please let me know. Because I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure how to become one with the birds. I uh, I know we might have to play the music. Or, sorry, play the, the tape recording. I'm just not sure whether we have to play it to get the picture for the bird to stay 
or whether there's a certain time period I have to wait for the bird to get comfortable and then you know what I mean I'm not sure how that works but we will figure out how that works and then oh, I was gonna say we'll get our spark plug but we already got the spark plug so we just need to do this we just need or <laughs> we just need to do this for red knot it's it's our holding up our end of the bargain and we're we're honest people so we're gonna get it done and it's fun though birds oh they're so cute like when i first saw them without the camera i wish i could have took a photo with them and well, here we are so that's the next thing on the itinerary is how to tackle getting these photos of these two birds and there's also a third bird that we haven't seen anywhere on that trail so that might be a little scary i might have to do some digging on the web not too much though maybe i'll get try to find a tidbit or if you guys have any suggestions too um, I will definitely take your suggestion over the internet because nobody likes using the internet. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, thank you guys so very much for watching. I am very appreciative and grateful that you guys tuned in today to play some Nancy Drew with me. And um, it is my full pleasure to make these. I absolutely love Let's Plays from the bottom of my heart. And I think they are just such a joy and a thrill to play and to manifest for people like you and I to come together and experience the joy of Nancy Drew games together. It's a lot of fun. And not just Nancy Drew games, but um, a whole assortment and mirage or <laughs> myriad of, <laughs> of different games, usually classics. Yeah, I like classics. I'm a classic kind of guy. So don't expect any new games on here. Oh, that was loud. Sorry. <laughs> I heard a bang from the uh, upper hemisphere there. <laughs> oh, anyways. Yeah. Um, thanks again. I love you guys so much. And tune in for the next episode. And we're going to get some bird pics. Lots of bird pics. I love me some cute birds. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm procrastinating again. I love you guys so much third time i've said it because you can just never say it enough i love y'all more than you ever know all right so toodles for now ta-ta ciao ciao <laughs> howdy folks did you like that video well then why don't you go ahead and give that thumbs up a smackaroo don't want to miss out on the next episode? Give the subscribe button some love and make sure to turn your notifications on. That way I can give you a bell a ring, let you know when it is served. Still need more to chew on? Take a bite of my new YouTube Instagram account at TravyJ Space to keep up to date with the channel's inner workings and news of upcoming projects and episodes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.